podcast. My name would be Shane Allen. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, joined. I was going to say as always, but he hasn't been on here in like six <laughs> months. Michael Cologne. <laughs> Look at us. Theater. Oh, wow. Luke. Here we are. And Jonathan Broida, one of our fine writers and an even finer bassist. You know, slapping the old uh, four string boy <laughs> around for Hollowell. Yeah, check them out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, at the beginning, though, you heard a band called Cat Attack. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I should have probably asked them, but it's C A T A T A C. They are an EDM synthwave duo based in New York. If you want to check them out, we're going to have them linked uh, everywhere we can. Um, and if you want your music played on the Interlude podcast, hit us up. We, we love local music, especially if you are not copywritten. Not copywritten. Okay. Facebook, Instagram, hit us up. We'll get you on the pod. Also, five bucks a month is going to get you the full podcast. We'll only do half for free because we are poor as fuck. Let's get into it. Boys, what a week we had in the water. Right. Listen, ever it was hot, steamy. People were trying to get cooled down they're trying to get in the water and that meant a couple of cars had to get put into the water as well (laughs) so just full disclosure we were supposed to do this podcast yesterday and we both like mike and i were both sick so we push it off uh, and when i had made the sheet this was an ongoing story like the the ambulance that got stolen from Cayuga county there was an active chase going on at the time. It, and it was, la- uh, this is what the story said. It was last seen on 490. It's an ongoing story. That's all it said. That was it. It was like, hey, watch out for an ambulance. It's just somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and then cut to today, I'm seeing footage of them pulling this ambulance out of, of the bay. Did you guys see this? It's incredible. Some parts of it. So this this lady stole an al- an ambulance from Utica, drove it to Rochester. The like the chase went on for a while, and then she ended up driving it into the Arundacoit Bay at the Newport Yacht Club, which is the uh, Arundacoit side of the bay. I used to kayak there a, a lot, uh, so that was weird. Right. It's like seeing a celebrity. Wait, she drove um, the ambulance into the bay? Yeah, she drove it into the bay. Oh, my, I thought these were two Holy separate shit. stories. It was all connected. Yeah, yeah, you know, no, these are two. So <laughs> oh there is two. God. There's two stories. There is this ambulance lady, but then also, uh, over the weekend, some lady drove her husband's truck into the Genesee River in Charlotte. <laughs> oh, oh my God. So, and uh, this one, I don't know for sure because this uh, this story I got from the Rochester Pedal Tours Instagram feed. So I don't know if any of this is true or not. <laughs> <laughs> Pedal Tour Phil was on the scene. And uh, by the way, this is uh, this is how I want all of my news from now on is from Pedal Tour Phil. It's him... <laughs> He took like a, I think it must have been a story, either that or he he chickened out and he deleted it from the actual account. But uh, his report was that it is, quote, a jilted lover drove her husband's or boyfriend's car into the Genesee River uh, and they had to spend all day raising it out. She apparently caught her boyfriend or husband cheating and decided to take it out on his truck with, I'm guessing she was in it. Like, I don't know. Um but yeah, two Pretty separate, badass. two separate <laughs> stories of trucks going into the water here in Rochester, and I don't know how you guys feel about it. To me, like I get it that the water levels are really low this year, and people are upset about it. But I don't, I don't think that dumping cars into the, you know, the lake is what's going to help anything. I just, <laughs> if this is our solution, I don't know, guys. I just don't know about it um yeah i I, this is Ah. insane this is crazy i I, did you guys see any of this and um michael uh, i know you've been gone for a while so uh you know we don't live in rochester anymore (laughs) yeah we don't even know where you are (laughs) where are you um 
Yeah, I, I mean, I saw it. I like I was in the same camp as John. I didn't realize they were like connected, but yeah, I totally saw it. They like, aren't. I mean, it's two different water. stories. It's just that they oh, yeah, both I mean, are like, crazy women driving shit into yeah. the fucking water. <laughs> yeah, no, I just mean like that's insane. There must just be something in the in the air. I don't know. I mean, it's. I think it's pretty badass. I'm wondering if she like did a tuck and roll. Right? Like, did she talk and roll out of the truck before she got in the water? Or did she just say, fuck it, I'm going with it? That's, as far as, that's so what I want to know. The I only know from the ambulance one. The ambulance woman was in the truck. She literally drove it into the bay. Into yeah, the bay. yeah, that one. And there was, um, you know, it was in the middle of the day. Like, I was like, oh, maybe this was like at night. It was in the middle of the day. There was boaters out there. That's who rescued her. There was just some dude in his boat and he had his his friend. They were probably hammered drunk. And all of a sudden they're like, are you guys fucking, is that a fucking ambulance? What the fuck? And they drove over there and I'm sure it was to be like, what the fuck is going on? And then this lady climbed aboard and then the police later came and arrested her for stealing a fucking ambulance. What the hell is going on? Oh my God. Those Utica ambulances, though, to be fair, are really nice. They are really nice. Is that a federal crime? That's got to be like a federal crime, right? Like as bad as like trying to rob a bank. I mean, what is that crime? <laughs> like that's stealing government I, property. That's definitely I, a thing. I don't know if that's government property. I mean, I think think most ambulances are private businesses, but like. I don't know. I don't know if maybe it becomes a federal crime if she, because she was going through borders, maybe. I think she would have to cross state lines for it to be a federal thing, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. Depending, That's just crazy. Well, it could be. It, maybe it's federal because technically the Irondequoit Bay, since it's touching the lake, is international waters. Yes. Hmm. Oof, so this is an international crime now. She's hmm. putting that shit in the bay. So it's done in the canal. That sounds like a Guantanamo <laughs> situation to me. Crazy. John, you look like a man that's dumped a car in a river. Um, how do you feel about this? I've been known to. I mean, it was really hot this week, but I mean, I don't know if that would have forced me to go drive my car into around the Quite Bay of all places or the Genesee River for that matter. Yeah, two I of mean, the grosser bodies of water yeah, in Rochester. Yeah. It doesn't get much worse than that. I mean, Erie Canal is not much street. better, but they're all kind of brown. We've talked about this before, but dear God. Yeah. Yeah, the, the Charlotte Beach, I mean, that was right next to the Pelican's Nest, I think is where that one went down. So I, when mm -hmm. I saw that, I was like, yeah, that makes sense. I've been very drunk at the Pelican's Nest. And <laughs> yeah, like, you take sense. one random turn, the, like the, you know, the, the Port of Rochester, and all of a sudden you're just in the, in the drink. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. So, wild, they got, man. so they pulled these, these trucks out and everything like that. I don't know. What, what do you do with them afterwards? Can you, like, put those? I don't know nothing about cars. I'm assuming that's you can't fix that. Like, I don't know. Why not just leave it? Can you not just leave it? Like, I don't, is it bad? It's for probably bad the for the, wild, the wildlife and all that. I they mean, could have, they could have turned it into like a scuba place, you know, like shipwrecks is like car wrecks in the Aronicoi Bay. Could have been like Lovely Warren's new like election campaign thing. Dude, I'm you know? all about it. No, I'm with you. And I think they do that with other, other spots where, but they have to like strip the cars first. You can't just dump a car with a full tank of gas <laughs> and uh, just had recently had a jiffy lube oil change you can't just go ahead and dump that into the bay but i'm i'm all dude honestly sea breeze if you're listening here's your new ride it's called the ford f-150 into the into the fucking wave pool let's go that looks fun as shit are you kidding me like for a while, and you're in the air going off the pier, and you're like, "This is awesome." And then you hit, and you're probably like, "You're you probably hit the steering wheel, and your chest explodes or whatever." But dude, so uh, a normal that's, sea breeze ride. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> so like the like log flume. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm I'm all yeah. about it. So I don't know. So these are uh, gotta say. I've always been pushing for women to do some more crimes. I'm excited for the equality aspect of it. It's usually <laughs> guys are horrible pieces of shit and we're murdering each other. These are like, I, I don't think anybody got a hurt in all of these, which is good. 
So it was just cars that got hurt. So men, we could learn a, learn a, a few things from the ladies on this one, if you know what I mean. Um, but, uh, you know, now that I have said that, guys, I want to know about your crazy exes. Because, like, according to Pedal Pub Phil, who is Rochester's number one reporter in my book, this is a, a jilted lover, which is what he said, which is amazing. And she put the truck... <laughs> And like that tops any story that I have for sure. I've got I've got some crazy exes, but I don't know, uh, Michael. Do you have any uh, crazy exes that tried to get back at you or any type of revenge stories? Maybe so glad you picked him first. Maybe you're yeah. the crazy ex. Well, John, I mean, <laughs> from this podcast, we know that you used to chuck rocks at other kids for fun. So, oh my uh, god. I'm waiting. So We're gonna wait. Stoning. <laughs> yeah, I learned F- that from someone else. The FBI <laughs> and RPD are both tuned in right now. We're just gonna wait for your admission of guilt in a second. We'll let Mike go first. Um, I I had an ex uh, key my car, like my really like, all around. Like she like went like it was just a straight line from the front to back. It was rough. It was in high school. She wasn't happy with me. Yikes. Let me ask and, this. Uh, it's always the car. It's always the car, I feel like. Like the car is like you always hear like the brick through the window. It's the that key. fucking like, Carrie Underwood, dude. Yeah, it's all because of her, dude. It's all because of her. She wrote um, that one song. So, yeah. She's like taking a bat to the truck, and all every woman just can't. I mean, not to say that women aren't creative. You're all very creative, but it kind of seems like you guys are taking the same card out of Carrie Underwood's book. It's always a car, man. Or you've seen those horror videos of women destroying their ex boyfriend's PlayStations or Xboxes. Ooh, no That's man. crossing the line for me. That's murder <laughs> territory. Just hucking shit out the window, you know, like yeah. right. one. I saw one where a girl just dropped like this guy's PS4 in a bathtub. Oh <laughs> like, no! Sent it to him. But yeah, I had an ex key my car, and there's I was able to buff it out, fortunately. But it was rough. I'll never forget coming out and just and uh, I couldn't do anything. You couldn't prove it, right? Like I was like, I guess I could call the cops, but like, what are you gonna do? So that was probably the craziest thing as far as max goes like yeah that sucked did you deserve it i did probably (laughs) i don't remember what it was for but i'm gonna go ahead and say yes like wait did you hold on hold on did you happen to key her car right before that (laughs) no i keyed her heart (laughs) (laughs) yikes she's listening Um, right now if I could, no. I would drive you right into the bottom of the bay right now. <laughs> we can make Valentine's. Dude, those are the interlude Valentine's Day cards next year. I'm just Ooh. saying, right there um, in the bay. But yeah, that was probably the craziest thing. That sucked. Not a fan. But thankfully, I have not dealt with anything that intense. It would have been cooler if she drove into the water, though. That would have been pretty badass. I could. That's respect. And you could collect that sweet, sweet insurance. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, you can totally collect insurance. Maybe that's what it's for, so. dude. Maybe it's an insurance scam. Maybe like the boyfriend didn't do anything. I don't know, Possibly. but she's probably gonna face <laughs> criminal charges. <laughs> yeah, that's a tough. That's a tough insurance scam. I don't know if it's a scam. It just seems like a. Crime. They really got. They're method actors. They're really committed to they're it. They're really good. Yeah, John, uh, tell me about your your jilted lovers. You know. <laughs> I gotta give it to my exes. They they haven't been crazy. They've all been mm. relatively normal. However, there's this one time my ex called me randomly, like freaking out in the middle of the night. And I guess she like took some drugs at a club and like she was desperate. Like she needed me to come pick her up and she like the whole car ride, she was just John, I stole crying. an ambulance. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck I am. Yeah. Pretty much, she might have actually said that those exact words, quite possibly. But yeah, yeah, she was just freaking out the whole night, and I just had to like pretty much babysit her, and it was just t- oh, that was awful. But was over she the phone, just drunk, I sh- everything. I don't know, drunk, drugs. I don't know. She was just really messed up, and I just pretty much had to take care of her the whole night, and I just that was Jesus. the craziest thing. So wait, did you have to take care of her over the phone or did you No, go like we had, me and my roommate had to go pick her up from the oh, club okay. and then the whole 
<laughs> I know if she's like screaming in the back seat. <laughs> cool. Just like an exorcism going on. Yeah, it was it was pretty scary, but uh, just I, I just fine the next morning. <laughs> That's, That's yeah. It was. It was pretty I crazy. Love, well, good I love for you. How my my story was like, oh, they keyed my car. Yours is like she was roofied, and I had to help her. <laughs> yeah, I had to like save like... her from this car. <laughs> It was pretty wild, but yeah, it's the craziest experience I've ever had. I, I guess that's not bad. Maybe I'm she so, keyed my car. Dude, I'm know. I'm so petty. I would have been like, yeah, I'll be right there. Never, never <laughs> showed up. Never. Are you kidding Unless me? Unless she called an Uber, then you could have charged her. You could have just mm. turned your Uber driver. <laughs> yeah, just, like, the lift go. light on. Uh, as far as crazy exes go, I've had. A, couple i mean one like one of them just like hooked up with a lot of my friends afterwards which is like <laughs> like what are you gonna do I, i'm not gonna you trying to make me jealous but really like i like my friends more than you i'm glad that they're having sex I, I, <laughs> like whoa thank you for helping my friends out but i don't care good for you um but then uh, uh, uh one <laughs> one girl told all of her friends that i um i beat her and got oh. her and got her pregnant and I, I she didn't specify what order oh my god um <laughs> neither of which are true i didn't do anything like and I, it, like so one of her friends confronted me and was like i can't believe you fucking hit her and you got her pregnant and i was like she's fucking pregnant this is a <laughs> fucking are you kidding me i was like listen i didn't hit her but like can we talk about the pregnancy thing is like, she really oh, pregnant yeah, I don't know. Yeah, she just uh, she didn't like me, which makes sense. Like it was a college, it was a college relationship. I was I was still like I went to college super young, and I was naive. Um, and like I just figured we were dating during the semester, and I was like, let's just we'll just not date in the summer, and we'll get back together next year. Next semester. <laughs> like, for me, I was like, like, like in my head, it was like, we'll just take a break. I'll have sex with everybody else, and then I'll come back and start having sex with you again. Like, what are you, what is that weird? Is that a bad idea? What's uh, the problem here? Yeah, it seems like uh, <laughs> so yeah, she didn't like that plan. Um, and then, yeah. <laughs> so her her idea of getting getting back at me was to tell everybody I beat her. And, and it works. Uh, all of those, all of our mutual friends hate my guts still to this day. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I'd have, I couldn't. I couldn't hit a woman. I can't do it. I know that. Uh, I listen. I, I, I'm not. I'm not gonna. <laughs> Mike, Mike, and John. I'm not gonna ask your opinions on things. I don't want. I listen. It's a controversial podcast, and I, I know it's a controversial statement. I understand. I, you guys <laughs> That's don't all have I'm to. I understand. Wait, wait. Yeah, like, nah, nah. <laughs> I honestly didn't even know you had ex girlfriends. I thought you've just been with your wife forever. <laughs> oh, oh they're, I just they're assume, you guys have been together so young. You guys have right, like you guys have been together a long time, like five years. I'm really? 32. Like, yeah, I've dated other people. I like, yeah. Longer. I've, I've, I mean, I've dated enough women where three of them are lesbians now, Michael. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, a joke. That's a you joke. too. Yes. Yeah. This. I mean, this. This wiener has seen some of Rochester. Okay, Michael. <laughs> Shit, I didn't realize we had so much in common. I mean, you turning, all you turn your ex girlfriends into lesbians. Oh, absolutely, man. Three of them. No, not that many. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say because they're. I mean, I think two. I think two though. So I'm close. The Rochester lesbian community is a tight knit group. So I was gonna say our ex is probably hooked up with uh, each other. It's quite possible. Yeah. Yeah. We could be kissing. Uh, what does that mean if we're? I was trying to figure this out. Like you know, kissing cousins or what, what is it? Uh, what is what is the one where you? What's the one where if your buddy and you both hook up with the same oh, person? Oh, you mean Eskimo brothers? Eskimo, Eskimo brothers. brothers. What yeah. is it for girls? Poor. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, or canceled. Um, I just want to say, say for the record again, in, I don't, I would not hit a woman. I just want to say that again <laughs> for the record. You know, you softball that one in. It was silent. I was expecting I, <laughs> I was expecting a little something else, but yeah, okay. Um, 
So <laughs> this woman that stole the ambulance from Utica inspired me to come up with this other question. And I don't know, John, uh, if you have a, an answer teed up for this, but is there something like a piece of Rochester history or anything in Rochester that you've always wanted to seal? Like an ambulance is pretty sick. Like you can, especially if like a police chase, because people are like looking at that and they're like, it's an ambulance with cop cars. So everybody just assumes everything is kind of like, it's a regular emergency, you know, it's not like for like, until you see that on the news, you're just assuming that an ambulance is going to an emergency and the cops are following them to that same emergency. Right. Um, but yeah, as far as police chase goes, you could probably flip on that siren so you could have a lot of fun. John, is there something in Rochester that you've always wanted to maybe steal? Yeah, you know, there is. Uh, 490 West. You know, like, I can't remember the intersection. It's right by that park where they play softball, but there's that... You remember Horses on Parade? Yeah. They have, they have like, that American flag-colored horse, like, standing right in the middle of 490 between lanes. And, like, for whatever I reason... Drive, I drive by it all the time, yeah. Yeah. Right near me. I just want that thing. I don't know why. I just want to take it home. I want to, like, jack it. Jack so that's your, number, that's your number one Rochester horse? Yeah, I like that horse. It's okay. definitely one of my faves. Yeah. All right, I won't tell the um, I won't tell the Rochester Red Wings horse made out of old leather bound mitts. That that was second. that was gonna be mine. That's mine. <laughs> that's <laughs> <Is> it really? <laughs> yeah, that, that's exactly what I was about to say. Was the mitts? It's so good. It's so good. How could you not yeah. want it? It is a good one. I, dude, that's fucking gross. You don't want it. It is gross. It would Every smell really place, bad. Just 200 people a day going ball. through there and like touching that thing all day, every day. You got kid boogers all over that. I know I've put gum on that thing. Like, yeah, it's just like, yeah. you don't want that. Oh, uh, and very Rochester of you. You want to steal the Target Red Ball. Okay. Second place. Second hot, place. Another hot local reference. <laughs> <laughs> hey i did the red wings mitt the, the old mom and pop shop <laughs> target <laughs> the old mo- the old, you know old Tar-Jay, target. thank you very much target target for me it's uh it's kind of an indiana jones situation i want to steal and replace it um i want to you know that the uh, the statue of susan b anthony and she's drinking tea with uh, frederick Douglass in that one park Oh, yeah. I want to take the Susan B. Anthony statue and replace it just with like a Guy Fieri statue and just see how long it takes people <laughs> to like figure it out, you know? So I feel like Genius. that's not, a, that park isn't frequented enough or I think that would, that would be like a long con or just replace it with like for a while there. I feel like it was always the news that people are making some really fucking terrible statues. So I just want to replace their faces. Like, the, remember, there was one that went viral of, like, uh, Ronaldo that was butchered. And there was a Lucille Ball one. I think that was actually in upstate New York. That is a nightmare-inducing. I should Google those later. Google Lucille God. Ball face, and you'll <laughs> enjoy it. But uh, Ball no. face. <laughs> Just the face. <laughs> Any other honorable mentions for things you'd like to steal in Rochester? Um... Nick Tahoe's fr- hot sauce recipe, maybe. That would be a good mm. one. Some lady Freddy at a bar. <laughs> some lady at a bar. Um, well, yeah, apparently they're very light. You can just carry it home with you if you just just Insane. get one friend. Yeah. Um, a girl, a lady at a bar once was like, I, I know, I know Nick Tahoe's recipe, and I'm gonna take it with me. I'm gonna go and start my own uh, hot place. And like, okay, I don't think it people are coming strictly in for the hot sauce but good luck with your oh. business venture yeah the lux penis chair Ooh, that's <laughs> what i would say that's a good one right there that is a good the one. lux penis chair yeah get i'll oh, get the penis chair and two target balls michael you got a whole you got a whole back, wow. backyard set i know I mean, what if I could attach them to the horse, the men horse? <laughs> and then maybe get the uh, get the W from Walmart, and you'll be <laughs> <laughs> another classic Rochester. <laughs> Not even Wegmans get the Walmart one. What about that uh, <laughs> the piano bench on University Ave? You know, like they have all the artsy fartsy things mm-hmm. right by the oh, Walmart. Oh yeah, 
that was like a good that. one. The benches totally... are pretty cool too. Yeah. It's like this stuff's gonna go missing, and we're gonna get blamed for it. You're <laughs> just right. so everyone knows. You're right. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just drive myself right into the fucking river. I don't give a shit. <laughs> oh. Uh. So that's gonna do it for the first half of the end of the podcast. We're gonna be moving on to our next story, Mullet Gate. If you want to know what the hell that's all about, you know, pay five bucks a month, patreon.com slash interloop. And if uh, you aren't joining us on the other side, we leave you with cat, cat attack, synthwave duo cat attack. Slipping away. 